Mm-hmm. <coughs> right. That's not how I wanted to start. But, yes. This is going to be different, because normally when I'm on this app, I'm speed painting. But on this occasion, we are going to be doing... Well, I'm going to just be drawing. <laughs> Show what the project's going to look like at this very point. So here's a few bits now. Yes, have a, have a, have a, this. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Just, just, please, please forgive me for this. Oh, God, I broke the, I broke the app already. Okay. Hmm. Oh, God, I did my head settle. Hello, there you go. All right. I know Christmas has passed at this point and you've still got nothing for it, but I will get the Christmas bits out at some point if I, like, have to... St if Even if it's, like, freaking past the new year by that point. Hmm... Oh, Christ alive. I'm having some real troubles. I can't remember when I actually first started doing this. And now it's extremely long as hell, so... I'm going to need to ensure that nothing looks... wrong at this point. I will go to certain pages as well a few times when I'm doing right because I might have forgot where his prosthetic goes. No one laugh at me. I've not done this comic in ages, okay? Practically if anything, I'm alone at this point with half of these ones. Okay, false information. Drawing these ones in my art style, I'm alone doing, yes. Voice acting, I can hire people. Well, I say hire, it's a bit of a strong word there. I think Rose prosthetic is a bit high in the like a bit high up. Compared to his original arm. Also, another thing I'll throw in on the category here is that normally in Canonic, these bow ties don't appear until a lot later, but Ryan kind of lacks one. It's a piece of performance uniform when you think about it for the fun times in particular. And I'll see. With Ryan still being young at this time being, he's um, not going to be able to thingy join in because of the risks. Technically, the guy's got stage fright as well, so he'll get... I don't know if I'll ever show him ever having stage fright. I, I could draw something like that out at some point in my time being. But first things first, I need to... Alright, so I might need to reposition his like, pupil a tad bit. Right. Yeah, that'll do. Something I really want to accomplish is like, improve the art style, because... This disaster is practically, like, not something you can animate or anything. Don't get me wrong, you can do comics with this style, I think, but it's like... <laughs> Confused boy. At times I, like, oh Christ. 
I forgot all about like the change. I had to put it to the square because like the classic because I'm way too used to it. But at this very point, I'm unsure what to say at this very, very, very point. I don't want to like make Ryan's prosthetic be the same tone of grey as the actual building. So I will be trying to like gain the right colour. Except it's up like a little higher up. So I'll just steal the colour from that because they might not be the same as the actual building. It spoke too, spoke too soon. It's the same colour as the freaking building. God oh, damn it. But who knows? Ah. Normally I don't run, like, I like, do, like, commentary over my drawings, because I do intend to attempt concentration. Christ. <sighs> I also do the words as well, because otherwise, if I don't know what's being said, I don't know what to draw next, and I look like an absolute idiot. And believe me, it's not on camera either. <sighs> at this point, yeah, let's look at what I've been saying. There were two pages I had in between these two bits, but I ended up deleting them because I didn't see them fitting very well. Besides, I want to like limit uh, what was the context of that page. Basically, what do you think about it? It was just a baby hanging segment, really. But I want to ease on those a bit. Because think, I had like practically... Let me, let me try to think. Um, how many did I have? I had... I had Ryan a maximum of twice. In the same sitting. We had... One time Freddy twice in the same sitting. So that's like... Four. Bonnet. And then Fun Time Foxy a maximum of... Yeah, 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 whatever. And plus, yes. I do those segments either for a butt out or... Hush, we can't be seen. But I can't, but I only have to do it, so whatever. I'm just getting complicated, in other words. Oh, yeah, yeah I want to do Ballora next, actually. Now, what I do with Ballora, Ryan, and Bonbon, on the other hand, because they all got blue sayings, the, I have to do different shades of blue on them. So dark or light depends which one's talking. I think I do blue dark for Ballora. Okay. I don't I don't know what Ballora shoes are known as, so I'll I'll just call them ballet shoes, and then whoever can swear at me in the comments later on, rather than I can fix that later on. Actually, no, wait, let, let me look at Ryan. Yeah, Ryan is a light shade of blue. So I will have to start. I think he varied, actually. No, wait. Ryan was a very light shade of blue. And this clown's practically red. Red eyed, but. Well, red worded, whatever. Oh, I'm just like, okay. <sighs> Yeah.
You're probably all thinking as well, but they aren't allowed at the location. That's most people they, people they use. Mine don't go out by choice. What do you think about it? Because my William Afton is like extremely friendly and is a cookie man, and art is treated a lot nicer in life. And instead of a guard malfunctioning, which I'm obviously instead of baby in the main games, <coughs> it is actually Ryan that malfunctions and attacks. <coughs> I'm gonna clear my throat an awful lot. Okay. Bonbon's mentioned if I correct, but he doesn't appear yet. But he might appear in this comic. By the way, I'm also doing it in the order you all were suggesting it back in the times I started doing my own ones. I think it was that one when he lost his prospect. But that, 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 that. I can't say prosthetic, right? Damn it. But yeah, how I got his prosthetic, and then the second one, you guys may remember, this is practically, I think, what this one will be. Okay, with Ryan's colouring tone, I need to get the colours right. Yeah, the blue's a little lighter. I had to check. I still have it explained behind the foot. Like, mind you, I don't think I need to explain. I think it is just a design change. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have his ears down because he's practically not sad or angry. He's just concentrating. His ears always turn out wrong. I can't, it's always the fox ears that confuse me. I haven't batched out their roles as siblings yet either, so... All I could say is that Ryan's the youngest member of all of them. But becomes oldest member a hell of a lot later on in the story. Reason behind that? Well... His age kind of messes up. Significantly. Take some inspections in the main story bit. Okay, this is all dream realmy bits. That's the floor, I think. Yeah, I've not done the floor yet, but I think I can do it in a certain of cra crabs. I at least want Funtime Foxy to be sorting out his bow. Mm -hmm. 
I think. Mm, but Raja is very complicated to draw that, so I might not. My art style doesn't let me do very much. I do quite like how they look with the bow ties, but the bow ties are like very complicated to draw, so I don't draw them often. Also, a fact about Funzo and Foxy. He's the one out of the lot of them who is like, he's like a very talkative one. So, out of all of them, I think he has spoken the most words in their lifetime. But I could be wrong. Everyone's characters are different when you think about it. So... What could I have his expression being? Do I give him a slight little smile? Yeah, we look with it. That's actually quite nice. But I might want to improve the smile a little. Hmm, it's quite confusing what, like, mouth to give, like, what mouth expression to give him. Yeah, I'll give him this one. It, it works for him. Now, I need to, like, keep them two on their equal height for now. Although Ryan is actually smaller, so I should probably make him smaller. But I've had this problem where I lower them on the screen. I hate circles. They are really bloody difficult to draw. I have had a hard time with circles and have for flaming ages. This is probably why I struggle so much. People are probably there, I could just be lazy with Funtime Foxy, I'd rather not. No wonder why my brother uses freaking certain somethings. Alright, if I compare the head size, will that sit in the same lines? A little. But it can slip because Ryan is supposed to be smaller, so. Yeah. I want him to be close enough, though, for the next page. I don't want, like, freaking elastic arms. I'm still gonna give Ryan that confused expression because. Yes, he's questioning what the hell's going on, so. And if you're the youngest member of the cast. Then, of course, you're going to be super, super confused, aren't you? If I put him there... Hmm... Complexities...
Okay, let's slide the for geez sake. I think this is going to be hard because you got to like try not to make contact. Time, well look at that, I just ripped a little piece of Ryan's freaking toe off. There we go. It looks like he's looking up. I need him to like technically be looking at Foxy. Normally Ryan's still asleep while they're clowning about with the whole performance thing. But this time he woke up because of obviously a nightmare that had practically scared him. Now, I'd rather use some kind of ruler thing at times as well. And now I've just got to like cut it off the legs. I think it's like the trimming of some things as well because you gotta like keep the torso good, you gotta like make sure the legs are good and you gotta like try and do a small number of detailing with certain rooms and spots. I can as well add layers if I need to because I think I have before. There we go. Now, I'll copy the same effects for the wall and then I slap them on here. Also, get in between Ryan's legs. Do I like, bring the grey up a bit? We get the main rental floor, which looks like something completely different.
It was a little far on the right, I think. But that that doesn't sit as my problem. I could like throw in a little Easter egg or two on another layer. Which I'm gonna do that now. Looks like I'm on layer two. Aha, uh -huh, good. Good, good. I'm gonna stick something on the wall. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll picture frame it first. It's gonna be like a little bit of an Easter egg for just one page. Actually, I'll, I'll do the head here. I might have to actually like move it to the side because I need to do it here. Okay. No, what now? I'll probably do it. Let me try and remember the uh, tail pattern correctly. I 
I think there's like a cross between like pink and this cyan color. Okay, yeah, I just like look like all over the tail there. And there, uh, I've practically got him something. Okay, this bit is like the most annoying. You need to like look for the right spot to catch it. The gap is so small. I know that I don't have to add this easter egg, I just want to. It probably isn't working out because like, you can't actually find a spot in it that actually works out because the fucking grid is so smooth. I think it's enough to frustrate a lot of people. Unless you have the patience for flip a clip, that is. Oh Christ, oh Louis, we forgot it in between the arms. I forgot flip a clip, so awkward. Gotta like dab it a bit because I uh, looks a bit it's stupidly awkward. Okay, now I do the same thing again here and I just dab at it a bit. Okay. I wonder, I'll put it in like a um, color because I think that was what I'm Note, this is not for reading, no one reads. If anyone wants to dub that, don't read what's on the picture. It's, at least, it's supposed to be a reference to Summit. Well, I see you uh, something. It's more a reference to someone. I need a bit of fur detail on them. Yes, I use 6px. Deal with it. It's my brother that uses free. I think it was free anyway he uses. I'll have to ask him later. Okay.
Alright. Hmm. I'll probably finish the words of this page and I might like just do the last one and then word it and then I might finish. Because <clears throat> I am using Flipper Clip for my iPad's a power drainer when it comes to this app. I think the pink was supposed to be a bit more, yeah, there. No idea why I need a space for those two bits. Yes, you know what that little line means. Yeah, witness it closely. You know there's about to be an interruption in sentence going on here. Is If you see this line at any point in the comic, you know someone's either going to interrupt someone else in the sentence or just realise, right, maybe not. Anywho, I might want to draw them in the same spot. I'll give you some context on this as well. The LC Easter egg is just for this page only. I thought like, I'd bring it up. But she was the person behind this OC in particular, who is a friend of mine, was the one who um, did the voice for Ballora and Bonnet in the um, other one, and has been in um, two Broken Bond themed ones. And uh, yes. He was actually helping me with broken bonds, but it's a bit slow. I know. Anywho, let's get this last bit done, and then I can probably ramble you all to death. <laughs> okay. I just need to draw on the spot that they're on. Apparently, if you, like, a way to improve the art style, apparently, is I need, like, those weird sketch fellows. I don't even know how to work with them. So, this is probably why my art style does not have anything involving them. It's just super simple, really, when you think about it. I'll do Funtime Foxy's, um... In the view we're looking at, I'd say right hand, but in his point of view, which you don't really see his point of view, it's left. I'll do that one last, only because I need to draw Ryan out first, because he's practically interrupting him.
Also, my brother has some sketches for something as well. Showing Funtime Freddy with freckles as well. I'll... I've not drawn him with them yet. I don't know how they actually look on him. But because in canon as well, it he doesn't have them. And practically it's only the Funtime Foxy and Lolbit that do. But for the love of Lord, I put I put freckles on the bonds for this as well. So if it suits the AU, then it suits the AU. Not much you can do. If you feel like one thing suits the AU, then... Go ahead and dump it. That's all I'm saying. You can also like try and thingy the drawing through the words as well, that's another thing I do. I'm always gonna mess up on the circles even if I am tracing because my hand appears to like, I tend to like shake a little at times as well while drawing so I can end up messing up on something very very quickly wait why am I doing his confused expression technically his ears have just shot up because out of nowhere, he's just been interrupted mid-sentence. I'm probably just used to tracing the pictures. That I'm letting the tracing of the pictures confuse me. Okay. I don't know what to do about with Ryan's eyes when we think about it. I think I might just give him that shocked expression. And have him look down. It looks entirely different. It's hilarious. That just looks certain.
Yes, Foxy is not silencing Ryan properly because you can still see his mouth, but he's just holding it closed for that moment. Oh, I just undo all that. Um. Oh, don't forget his tail. I think I've already scolded my brother enough times for forgetting the tails on them. Right, so I just need that line actually, that's another thing. Yeah, it practically has it in the right place. Okay, now I start sorting the colours here. His fucking face, he's like, what the hell? Mind you, that did come out of nowhere. Any who's was the outlining the colours and whatnot? Okay. Actually, we'll do the noses and whatnot as well. Right, it seems I've also got to do the pink on the eyes as well. There we go.
this flow clips complicated updates made things more difficult. Hmm. Maybe we don't need the question mark actually. Okay, comic wise, I see that is as far as I'm gonna move. But I now want to actually look at something. I, I'm tempted to add. A, no, I'll just draw him completely separate. I'll use this as an example. I don't want to go through like the home just to create a whole new thing just to look at a version of Funtime Freddy. So we'll draw him out, shall we? We'll see what he looks like with freckles. Then we'll see if I can update him with them or not. That was horrendous, I don't know why I tried. I'd say this would be around what he would look like uncolored with freckles on his face. But we're about to have a look, see what he actually looks like colored with them. If it's good, then I might update that to be his canonic look. But I wouldn't do that with the endo He's endoskeleton, isn't he? So. It wouldn't work for a character like him. I think when they added the freckles onto Foxy Ryan and Lolbit was actually during the Ask and Dare for Dare's first parts development. They didn't have them before, but I just added them. Wait, wait, no, Freddy's purple. I'm, I'm doing what my brother does. Make some pink instead by accident. Yeah, this is what he looks like with Freckles himself. I don't think they really suit him. When you think about it. Well, for how my brother did him, they suit him, but... In my art style, they don't really suit him very well. So, um, I will say that richly now. So, yes... I would not say that I would advise updating Fanta Freddy with the freckles, because here, let's see what he looks like with them on this shot, real quick. See, in a way, it kind of works, but again, 
I don't think it really suits him when you think about it. I think it is more the foxes that take him at this point. So, yes, I would advise saying that, well, the, the freckles stay with the foxes and both bunnies at this very point. And I can say I'm practically finished here. So, yes, after so long, past Christmas, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll probably return in a different one or something, I don't know. Anywho's, bye bye.